Google currently ranks websites based on how popular they are, but they're toying with the idea of ranking them by something much more useful, how truthful they are. Google has been working for the past several years on something called a knowledge vault. They are sorting through billions of facts online to find millions of them that we can all pretty much agree are true. Things like uh, how old Barack Obama is, or the fact that circus peanuts are the most disgusting candy ever made. Objective truths. The idea is that Google could use the knowledge vault to give precedence to search results that are more truthful. This is a really exciting idea for those of us who like popularizing unpopular scientific truths. For instance, when someone goes to Google and searches for vaccines, comma, autism, I want them to see the very first link be something that will give them the truth that vaccines do not cause autism. I don't want the top link to be some homeopath named Feather trying to tell them that polio is a gift from nature. If Google did institute something like this, it would be the opposite direction that they've been traveling for the past few years. Because not only does Google return search results based on popularity, but a few years back they started giving precedence to social media links that were coming from within your own social media bubble. And I've talked about this several times before about how research shows how easy it is for people to be trapped in an ideological bubble on social media where they just see the same things that they're accustomed to seeing over and over again and they're never introduced to any new ideas. Google was contributing to that. And there has even been research specifically on Google and how those social media results can influence people. A few years back, some researchers looked into the election runoff between Martha Coakley and Scott Brown in Massachusetts. Coakley was ahead in the polls for most of the race, but at the last minute, Brown made a huge comeback based mostly on his social media team. And what these researchers found, and you can read the whole paper in the description below, uh, they found that this was mostly due to a Twitter bomb. And it was probably instituted by the same organization that did the John Kerry Swift boating, if you recall that. Uh, they set up a website called Coakley Set It, and they used spam accounts on Twitter to send out hundreds of tweets to Brown supporters who then retweeted those tweets. And even though Twitter was catching the spammers and banning them, Google was still seeing legitimate users retweeting them. And so when you searched on Google for Coakley and Brown during that time period, you were shown these tweets, this Twitter bomb. And it was effective. Brown ended up winning the election, in part due to that and other really smart and savvy social media strategies. As long as Google or something like it exists, people will always try to game the system. But it seems like it'd be a lot harder to game the system into thinking that you're truthful than it is to game the system into thinking that you're popular, especially if Google drafts actual experts who are working within their field to help them improve what search results are showing up at the top. I'm still skeptical that this is really going to work. Uh, I don't know how they would deal with things like satire or pure opinion or uh, places where the scientific truth is honestly up in the air when it comes to theories that are currently being hotly debated among scientists. How do you, how do you decide what is more truthful than something else? But that said, the, the pure idea of Google ranking based on truth rather than popularity has people like climate denier Anthony Watts scared as hell. And for that reason alone, I'm willing to sit back and see what happens.